Hello everyone, I am Jennifer Escalera and I'm a metaphysical intuitive and energy coach. I'm also the founder of Bad Boy Detox. It's a coaching program that helps single women help to heal a heartbreak or just discontinuing, repelling against the bad boys and learning how to truly love themselves and find that deep love within. And today I have a guest who is my friend and doTERRA essential oil mentor, Megan Reeves. So I'm going to be talking to her. Hi, Megan. I'm going to be talking to Megan today, and she's going to help us learn how to use essential oils to help heal um, emotional distress or heartbreak or anything that's going to help support your detoxification when it comes to unhealthy relationships or toxic relationships and really moving you forward into the self-love energy and um, healthy relationships and attracting um, that kind of high vibration. So let me just share with you a little bit about Megan's background. Megan is a certified corporate wellness specialist, holistic health coach, certified master success coach, and aromatherapist living in Los Angeles. She's earned a Bachelor of Arts from Portland State University in Business Administration with a double major in Finance and Human Resources. Megan has 12 plus years of experience in sales, recruiting, training, and marketing. Thank you so much, Megan, for joining me today and helping yeah. us. Helping Thank us to find that resolution, <laughs> breaking <laughs> away from bad boys. <laughs> oh my gosh, I know, right? It, it can be really challenging to break those patterns. So I'm so excited about your work and thank you for having me. Yes, thank you. So just a little background for us. It's taken us a year <laughs> to finally get <laughs> together and talk about this. I mean, it's something that we're both passionate about, you know, in, as far as um, using essential oils, using natural ways to heal ourselves and exploring these deep rooted ways to self love. And I thought what perfect person could help us. Megan is a walking encyclopedia. I swear. Oh. She's a walking encyclopedia of so much knowledge and wisdom about um, working with essential oils. And as the expert of working with essential oils, I thought I would jump right in and explore, you know, what is your experience working with um, essential oils and in particularly around um, a breakup or, or emotional healing and those kinds of things? Yeah, so, well, I personally have been using essential oils for about five years, and um, for me, they came into my life at a really, a really good time, and actually, it was more for a, a physical need because I was getting sick frequently, but there was also a lot of emotional stuff going on in my life at that time. I had these, like, simple, powerful, natural solutions that just, like, made me feel better. Who doesn't want to feel like they live in a spa? <laughs> Talk about self-care, you know? And so they were just wonderful um, for me because I felt like, okay, if I'm feeling low energy, you know, I can use a citrus oil like wild orange and kind of, like, lift my mood, right? Or if I'm feeling really overwhelmed in life, there's a blend called breathe which literally is so great because just smelling this and taking some deep breaths totally resets your brain your chemistry drops you into your body you can't be in anxiety and in the flow of true breathing right and deep breathing so um so anyway for me they, they were just wonderful and i i took to them right away and, and love them and actually kind of have made this a career for myself because i just love helping people connect to um what I love about essential oils is that they not only work on the physical level as far as the body and the physiology and the chemistry, but emotionally and spiritually, every oil has a purpose. And I don't think that this is spoken about enough. And also that they really raise your vibration. And I was listening to um, a Russian scientist, Dr. Kortikoff. Have you ever heard of him? Mm -hmm. He's created all these Karelian photography machines. So like where you can see subtle energy. So like Reiki healing or something like that, right? To track and measure something that would seem really like woo-woo or ethereal. But now science is able to prove those subtle energies, the auric field, the chakra system. You can actually see healing energy going from one person to another. And one of the things, so I was listening to this podcast where I was talking about essential oils. And he said, it's amazing because when you introduce a pure therapeutic essential oil into someone's field, like doTERRA, you can actually see their aura start to repair. 
where there's holes, where there's tears, where there's like concave, it starts to repair and cleanse the auric field, even if the person doesn't put the oil on, even if they just have it around their field. So it's funny because now me and my friends sometimes will just body brush, like aura brush somebody with essential oils on our hands. Like, oh, do you need to be reset here? But you know what's wonderful is Jennifer, they, and you experience this, they just make you feel better. Children love them. I mean, it's just such a great way to nurture yourself and to nurture other people. And so, but I do love them because they, they, you know, they raise vibration, they can clear emotional patterns very quickly. And especially when you're going through a time like a breakup, you want all the help you can get. <laughs> like, you yeah, know what I mean? Are. Let's get yeah, through this. <laughs> yeah, let's get to the other side more quickly. So, and I know you have a, you have a little one at home and what have you experienced with the oils in your own life? Yeah. I mean, he loves it. My son, sometimes if he's in a little tantra mood or a mood swing, whatever, I'll be like, you want some oil? He'd be like, yeah. And then I spray him. And then he's like this. <laughs> I'm like, well, I guess I don't really know where to spray you, but here. And Too much mom, the aura, the whole thing. Yeah. Exactly. So he really enjoys it. And we actually use, uh, we use his humidifier when he gets a cold or when he has mm. a cough. I'll put during, um, uh, on guard and eucalyptus and his cough mm. goes away. So, I mean, this is all holistic medicinal metaphysical ways of using a natural oil that can really change your life and your experience you know mm -hmm. but yes I, I use it every day and I use it with my clients in all kinds of ways I'm always sweeping their their aura, auras with the oils <laughs> <laughs> yes I know it's it's so wonderful I'm like I often think like gosh my life was really bad before I knew about oils <laughs> like everything would have been better than I was doing you know and I always have them on me because you just never know you know like human emotion throughout the day ups and downs or what you're going to encounter you know and it's just nice to have things that you can immediately because I want to talk for just a minute about how essential oils impact brain chemistry if that's okay yeah. um just give a little lesson not too deep but basically like so if we have something like breathe one of the ways to use the oil and this is a nice blend of like peppermint, eucalyptus, um, cardamom, so it opens the airways. And you can just put a drop in your hand like this, and then you can rub your hands together. And the only rule is you definitely don't want to get these in your eyes. So especially if it's like peppermint or something like that, you might want to close your eyes. And then you just take a deep breath in, and immediately what happens, so one, especially with these oils, they're going to open up your airways, so your sinuses are going to open up, and if it's like a peppermint, that helps oxygenate your brain, so immediately you have more energy, so these are great, especially in the morning when you're trying to wake up, or if you're going through a breakup, and literally, you know, those mornings where you wake up and you're just like, kind of remember, like, especially when it's the trauma of a part of it, you're like fresh in the breakup. And it's like, I just recently went through one. I was telling Jennifer and the first few mornings that after that relationship ended, it was like, I woke up and almost had to remind myself what happened, you know, what happened. And it's like, I don't really want to get up and do anything today, you know? And for a few days I didn't, I gave myself that space, but life goes on and sometimes there's places you have to be or things you you just you have responsibilities and so this was like my best friend to help me like pick up and carry on and like act better than I felt because if I could have I would have just like you know laid on the couch and <laughs> ate dark chocolate and maybe right, you right. know started drinking some red wine at like three o'clock <laughs> right yeah so you recommend using that in the morning to have like a pick me up yeah yeah. So breathe is really great. Yeah. Any, any of your mint oils are going to be a really, and I was actually, I'll, I'll show you this set, but so, but so this, um, in this kit, it would be motivate. And this is like the emotional aromatherapy set. So there's an oil for every mood, <laughs> every mood in every situation. So we'll go through that. But I wanted to say, so basically when you inhale, your sense of smell is actually the strongest of your five senses. So it hits your brain very quickly. Aroma hits your brain very quickly. And what happens is it goes in to your olfactory bulb, right? Which identifies the scent. And then it immediately travels to the limbic brain. And so your limbic brain is sort of responsible for um, like mood and also memory. So if you've ever had an experience where you you know, perhaps you smell cookies and it reminds you of your grandma, you know, or you smell um, a perfume. It's like your aunt's perfume. You know, it takes you back to a memory and like a nostalgic feeling, right? Or you yeah. smell a guy's cologne. It's like your ex's cologne. You're instantly pissed off, you know, at the yeah, airport or whatever. Exactly. I still have those smells and I'm like, oh God. <laughs> I know. 
<laughs> you know, right? Exactly. So, um, yeah. So basically, it's it's so innate and primal, right? And so what we can do is we can really use that to our advantage, and we can basically like kind of fix our feelings in a way just to rise above them. Because like Albert Einstein, I think it was, it said, you can never solve a problem in the consciousness that created it. So especially when we're talking about women and we're talking about the patterns of how we love, and if you're, you know, somebody like me, and you, and you who's lo tended to love unavailable men, okay, women who love too much, you know, women yeah. who love men who can't love, those kind of things, and you've struggled in those relationships, it can be challenging to change that pattern. So what you're going to have to do is figure out a way to elevate and change your thoughts, your feelings, and your behavior. All three are going to need to eventually change, even if you're not conscious of that, but through the process of healing, eventually, once you get out of that pattern, you're going to be a different person because you won't choose those type of relationships anymore, right? So what I love about essential oils is that they really do a lot of that. They're a perfect partner to help you do that heavy lifting and get through it and soothe you as you're on your journey. Does that make sense? Yeah. Did the chemistry oh, part? Okay. I came to the right place. You said exactly <laughs> everything from science to the heart of a woman's experience in this because not everyone's gonna realize there is a science behind essential oils they just think like mm -hmm. oh it smells good or oh yeah there's a little relief but to be able to explain that in layman's terms and just everyday kind of language I mean I get it and I hope that any woman who's watching this is like oh okay I get it now I'm gonna use these oils definitely to empower myself it's it's also too like one of the things that I recommend in the program is to get a breakup buddy and yes. if your breakup buddy isn't available, get your oil and start doing a ritual or doing some type of cleansing practice. It's a self care practice and what it takes like 20 seconds for your brain to register. Is that what, mm -hmm. how long it is? Like 20 seconds. Yeah. Brain yeah, exactly. To receive the, the healing properties of the oil. And that is so magnificent. I mean, you can't change that chemistry when you're working with something that's very natural and has the high vibration as essential oils, especially doTERRA. So. <laughs> yes. yes, I was gonna say not all essential oils are created equally, like even Walmart sells, sells exactly. essential oils. It's pretty scary, they're very synthetic. So you wanna be using something really pure, you know, really medicinal. And I know at first, you know, it's kind of like, I thought the same thing, like, is this hippie nonsense essential oils? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, sure, I'll put some in sandals a few times or whatever, but no, this is, there's real, real science to this and in fact at USC every year I go and I speak to their medical school students because they have a complimentary and alternative medicine week and doTERRA it's literally like medicinal grade essential oils and what used to be our medicine on the planet plants right like thousands of years ago what we were popping over to you know um, Walmart or Walgreens and getting, you know, some prescription meds or over the counter. We weren't. We had plants and there were medicine men and, and plants have always been known to also have the spiritual properties and the emotional healing. So that's what's really cool is that we're able to use these to not only support the physical body, but, you know, emotionally and spiritually. Exactly, exactly. And so what other essential oils do you have um, with you yeah. to share with us? Okay, so let's, so, so basically I kind of talk about, let's go through the phases of the breakup. All right, so there's the trauma phase. There's the, there's where, what, what was going on for me about a month ago, um, where you yeah. realize another relationship has blown up and you're like, oh, again, you know, I started dating when I was 16. So just a few years ago. Um, and so, and I feel like, um, yeah, it's, it's like, you know, especially when you're wanting to get married and you're wanting to have children, it's hard to continue feeling like, okay, another one didn't work out. And so I think that there's a little bit of compounding disappointment if that makes sense. Yeah. Right. So it's like, and of course, grief triggers all grief, you know? So it triggers, like, if you've lost somebody, like for me, I lost my mom a couple years ago and when I go through a breakup, what do you want to do? You want to call your mom. Right. And so it can really trigger, you know, some of those feelings. So in the beginning, these were my best friends. So console. So oh, this is, great one. this is such a good one. blend. So and I used it actually when my mom passed too for a lot of the grieving oh. and it really helped me. So this is basically floral oils are always going to be emotionally healing and soothing. Okay. So when we think about rose, geranium, lavender. Okay. And then this also has, um, so a lang, -a -lang which is so beautiful. Rose, which is for the heart. 
frankincense. So it has some resin and some tree oils. Your tree oils are always going to be grounding. They're going to bring you into your body. You know, sometimes when you're really upset and you're just losing it, you don't even, you can you can't even explain to somebody or articulate why you're upset. You're just upset. That's because that part of your brain isn't working. It's shut down. You're like in that fight or flight. You're really upset, hysterical. That's the worst time to be trying to talk to someone. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What, you, what is better to do is go outside. If you can connect to the earth, like, you know, if you're in a warm place, take off your feet, your shoes, put your feet in the grass, take some deep breaths, grab your oil, and just do breathing and calm yourself, literally. So how I use this one, Console, is um, the heart is a really good place. Immediately roll it on your heart. And these oils come in rollers. And then Jennifer, I think you have the set where they're actually the oil, which yeah. is nice because then you can diffuse it. But I, I have both. But I like this roller set because these are already diluted and ready. Just roll on. They're so oh, easy to just put in your purse. But otherwise they come. Right here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, so right cool. on your heart center. Yeah, right on your heart center. And then also behind the ears is really nice and on your wrist points. So when you put an essential oil on your skin, one of the unique things about them is that the molecules are very small. So they go into your skin is your lar largest organ on your body. And it actually, anything you put on your skin can absorb, which is why we need to be mindful of like beauty, you know, and cleaning yeah. products and things like that, right? Because they uh, can be very toxic. Perfumes, Okay, um, so if you're using synthetic perfume, don't be spraying that on your thyroid. A lot of people have thyroid and endocrine dysfunction from toxic perfume. So anyway, um, but basically with console, you want to do it your heart, back of the neck, wrist, and you can also do the bottoms of the feet. And the reason, and all the oils you can use this way, the bottoms of the feet actually have the largest pores on your whole body. So it sucks right in like an IV, goes to every single cell in your body, trillions of cells in two minutes. I mean, how amazing is that? Yeah, it's so cool because it's like, yeah, and I have a lot of nutritional therapists that I work with that love the essential oils because they try to fix a lot of things traditionally with herbs, right, and supplements. But if your digestion is compromised, which a lot of people's digestion is these days, yeah. you can't get that therapeutic in the body. So what they love about this is you can bypass digestion. Put it on the skin, every cell in the body in two minutes. Right. So um, the when feet, you're going through that beginning stage of the of the breakup. I mean, your, your stomach and just everything just doesn't feel right. So I definitely recommend doing that on the feet for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Well, and the nice thing is, you know what, you can use this as frequently as you want. If you're really upset, you can apply this every 10 or 15 minutes. It's not going to, you know, there's no dosage that you have to worry about in that way, rubbing it on topically, especially these are diluted. So these can be your best friend for, yeah, yeah. when you're, when you're trying to just get through the day and the console is really the comforting blend. This yeah. is the one for sleep. Yeah comfort just kind of easing that really acute heartache where you're just like in kind of in trauma so console is the number one and then i would say also the breathe blend which i already showed you but this just gives you a breather from life when you're overwhelmed you're feeling anxious you've got to go back to work or you've got to go to your ex's place and pick up your stuff or whatever you know whatever those situations are um breathe is gonna be you know what if you have a kid with yeah. this guy you know, I mean, yeah. like, what do you do then? You know, you yes. need to breathe. <laughs> right? You really need to breathe. Yes. And so this blend is going to be what helps you. And I love diffusing this. So, um, you know, like you said, the humidifier, the diffuser, because that literally creates the whole aroma, like a spa in your house. And it changes the energy. It cleans the energy. And I know for me, you know, after a breakup, I always want to, you know, like clear the energy in my house, like burn Palo Santo wood or sage or whatever, because you're, you're releasing, right? And so you want to get out that old kind of emotion or if an argument happened or some, or you were very sad, right? It's, I always encourage people, change your bedding. You know, if you've been crying in bed, you know, clean up your house, do some decluttering as you can, you know, cause those things are all going to make you feel lighter. But so yeah, crisis phase of the breakup. These are your best friends. Console <laughs> and breathe. <laughs> So exactly, exactly. And we are very lucky today because um, we are still in the phase of the full moon. And um, I hope that we set the intention and the energies of this video to give you a, a sense of relief and releasing what doesn't serve you and mm -hmm. really moving through the detoxification with ease and comfort and knowing that you don't have to do this alone. So I just wanted to add that really quick. 
Absolutely. Yeah, that's so beautiful. I mean, it's true. It's helpful to know that, yeah, you're, you're not alone and um, that life has a beautiful plan for you, a great plan that's unfolding. And I literally, I listened to a talk. So when I was still having a really hard time adjusting, you know, the first week was like, really painful. And I listened to a talk and, and basically they said, you have two choices. You can be happy without him or you can be miserable without him. Mm-hmm. But like, those are the only two choices on the table, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So they, they, like, getting him back, fixing the relationship, you know, like mm-hmm. turning him into Prince Charming, the bad boy into Prince Charming. It's just like, you don't have that wand today, but right. you have two choices, right? And right. so you get to, you can either be miserable or you can be happy. And I thought, wow. And then it was really great because the other thing that they said is that, um, you know, take a piece of paper and kind of do data collecting. Like, what did you love about, and I'm sure in your course, there's some of this work of like, what did you love about that person or that relationship? And then what was missing? Okay. So they obviously weren't perfect for you because there were things that were missing, right? So there can be someone better. And I think that, you know, or more aligned, right? And I think that that really helped me like, okay, you know, I can kind of process. And then their final question in this talk was, did you love who you were in that relationship? And if you did, then it's a win. You know, if you get to walk away from it with grace and, and you learned your, you know, your lessons and so much of, I think, moving forward and integrating things is connecting to that, you know, okay, what am I learning on this journey? You know? Right, right. Exactly. Ooh, that's so good. And so moving through that journey. So let's say that, you know, a few days or a few weeks, a few months go by and you're out of the crisis, you're out of that traumatic um, trauma, drama type of experience sometimes. Um, yeah. What oils would help to stabilize or for us to go into that space of balance or self love? How, how can we start nurturing that part of ourselves um, with oils? Yeah, I love that. Well, so um, for like more of the, um, so I don't, I don't know about you, but I went through anger first. Oh, <laughs> right? Yeah. That's like and then anger, like, then I was like mad, you know, I'm thinking about everything that he said to me. I'm like, yeah. you know, what do you mean? you're never going to be the guy who lets me down. You're always in my corner. You know, you don't ever yeah. want to go a day without me, all this stuff. So then I personally, I went from grief and like trauma to then yeah. anger. And so my favorite oil uh, to use then was forgive. Okay. Ooh. And this is a really, that's yeah. a really nice one. That's a good Forgive one. is a beautiful blend. It's a little bit more earthy, right? And so it has a lot of those tree oils and some spice oils. It has bergamot in it, which we're going to talk about because that's the best oil for self-esteem, for yeah. self-confidence, for self-esteem. It supports the solar plexus chakra, if you're familiar with those. But so it has thyme, which supports um, the liver, and the liver is our organ that stores anger. So this is just such a beautiful blend. Um, juniper berry, which helps you release fear. Um, so any anyway, arbor vitae, which is the oil of divine love and grace. That's the oil, actually, the emotional purpose of arbor vitae, which is like those beautiful tall trees that like live forever. Um, it's the oil that reminds you not to run through life faster than your angels fly. So like, are you in too much self-will? Where do you need to co-create and kind of invite that divine energy into your life? So this is actually one of my favorite blends because it's just so powerful. And we know that forgiveness is such an important part of the process. And actually forgive um, is an Armanic word, which means to untie. So you're untying yourself from that person, from that energy. You know, it's like, I love that saying that resentment is like taking poison and expecting the other person to die. (laughs) You know, it's like, yeah, right. I know. Isn't that funny? The first time I heard that, I was like, oh, okay. I get it. You know, there's, there's not a lot of progress in anger and blame and being really pissed off and, and like, it's a destructive energy. So while it's an important phase to work through, you don't want to live there. You don't want to stay there. Right. So that's not, that's because we're going to be with the guy, like your guy who loves, adores and appreciates you and is an awesome partner and father. Right. Yes. So we're not living in anger and pissed off and, you know, bitter. That's not where we're living. So, um, forgive, use it intentionally do a ceremony, light a candle. Like when I was doing some of my journaling work, when you're going through the coursework and the bad boy detox, literally this is such a great oil to use intentionally and to just know that you're releasing, you know, you're just letting that anger flow through you and you're not going to get stuck in that. And that you have, you know, you're, you're willing to look for your gems, your treasures and your lessons. Like what's my part. I'm not going to worry about his part. Right. 
Exactly. Exactly. I'm going to focus on me. And then so forgive is really, really important. And then when I was also in the forgive phase, I still had to get back to work. I still had things I had to do. Life was going on. I had to actually travel to Portland and help with some family stuff. And um, so I used motivate. motivate. And this is the you know, peppermint and citrus oils. Do you like motivate? Yes. Oh, yes. I just use that one here all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really uplifting and it's energizing. And motivate is like the get it done. This is the get it done of your set. It's like, if you need, if you have a big job to do, you need to clean the house, you need to get a lot of work done. This is awesome. And it's like the, you know, tingly. So when you roll it on or if you apply it from the bottle, um, it's got that peppermint in it. So it'll immediately energize you, oxygenate your cells. So this is a really good one. I like this one for the forgive phase too, because it really helps things move. It helps you just move through emotions and experience. And it's the oil kind of that helps progress which I think in that phase, you want to progress through, you know, as, as more quickly if possible, right. you know. Well, would you put those on the solar plexus area, like the belly area, or where do you apply those for those oils? Specifically? Yeah, so, so um, forgive, I really like on the heart and on the bottoms of the feet and back of the neck, and then motivate, I love on the wrists and like behind the ears is really oh. nice. Like, so those are, those are kind of the ways that I use them. And then of course, if you have the essential oils, they're great, great to diffuse. Be really helpful. Cause then you're just breathing that in throughout, you know, hours and it cleans the air in your home, particularly forgive will kill, kill germs, you know, with the thyme oil. So if there's any kind of pathogens, even, you know, physically hanging out or emotionally, energetically, it's going to help. To purge those so that's what I would consider the next phase of the breakup so we go from breathing to I'm so glad you brought that up I'm already ready to go into um self-empowerment but you're like wait hold up we no, do the process of grief and you're absolutely right yes yeah. one thing yeah, I yeah, yeah. want to about forgive um what I like about this oil is that for me and some of my clients I've noticed you get really quiet Mm -hmm. It's one of those oils that takes you through the journey of just really going inward and you don't need to speak. You don't need to say anything. You're just cleansing. It's just moving everything energetically and just emotionally. So I definitely recommend forgive on any level for anything, <laughs> even if it's like a topic and you're like, there's so much, I need to forgive this situation. Like Especially no, living in Los Angeles. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. No, it's so true. It just helps you feel grounded, you know, and not that need for, I think it can be easy, especially with friends. Cause I had some friends that were like more upset about the breakup maybe than me. Just kidding. But they were very oh, like, no, like yeah. yeah, yeah. Because of course they want you to be happy. They're your friends. They're in your corner. They're like, how could he? And this and that. And they want to bring it up. And I literally, and this is the, I think the first breakup that I've ever done this. I had read something about a he talks. And I'm like, that's brilliant because I don't want to tell the story again. I don't, because telling the story kind of keeps it active. And the point isn't telling the story of what happened and where it went wrong and overanalyzing, which is women were so good at doing. And I swear a bunch of my friends could be PIs. Okay. I'm like, listen, I don't care what's on his social media, you know? So yeah. basically, um, what was really nice is, um, you know, forgive is also an oil that helps you set boundaries. And while anger can feel very powerful and when you're with a group of women and you're like, oh, you know, he's such an idiot and you're so great and all that, it, that can feel good, but not really at the end of the day. That's not yeah. that rewarding. It's not yeah. that helpful, you know? And so this is the oil that kind of helps you go into the stillness of like, yeah, this really sucks. This really sucks. This isn't how I wanted things to go, but I'm going to move into acceptance. I don't owe anyone else an explanation. I don't have to retell the story again. It doesn't matter what they think about it. It matters how I'm feeling, you know, and the journey that I'm on with my own soul, my own spirit, you know, however you want to look at that. And I'm going to go within and I'm going to move through these emotions. And so, um, yeah, if you're in a breakup and you're tired of talking about it, use the he talks thing because people had to respect that. I said, listen, I'm on a 60 day detox. We're not talking about it for yeah. 60 days. Don't ask me. My, pro my program's 90 days. So. Oh, it is? Oh, good. Even better. <laughs> Even better. I totally need your program, by the way. Yeah. So it's like, you know, but, but I really think that you're, you're right. Forgive has that like sweet oil of like, you don't owe the world anything. This is your journey of your own heart, your own healing, you know, and it doesn't matter if other people understand, you yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you want to move yep. to the empowerment? So, 
you know, I so want everyone to go through the process. You know, it's, it's yeah. very important that you go through all the stages of grief. And we definitely yeah. talk about that in the program. There's exercises to help you to go through yeah. that. And, and hopefully these oils can support some of that process with you. Absolutely. Well, and that's so beautiful, Jennifer, because so many people just, do, I mean, the women in your program, congratulations. Like if you're listening to this, if you're in Jennifer's program, congratulations on investing in yourself and investing in your future and the possibilities of your heart and the partnership that you know you can create, you know, because so many people don't do that. You know, as a, as a coach, I work with people and I don't give people more than five sessions. You're more, you're probably more patient than me because you're also a therapist, but I'm like, no, if you're not willing to like take some actions or do things differently, I don't expect perfection. I do want progress. And if I'm putting more into the you changing and your life dream that you've shared with me than you are, sorry, go use some oils and come back when you're, when you're ready. But a lot of people aren't that interested in changing and growing and, yeah. and working on themselves. So congratulations. If you're, you know, watching this, then you are, you are well on your way and deserve a big pat on the back. Yay. Yeah. So with that, okay. the empowerment portion. Empowerment oils. Well, I have a few for you. So we already mentioned bergamot and this is one of my favorite oils for self-esteem. So if you need to feel that inner confidence, that inner self-assurance, the affirmation for this oil is I am worthy. I am worthy. I am worthy. Oh, I'm worthy. worthy. Like I'm, oh. I'm worth it. I'm worthy. Yeah, I am good enough. So this oil, and it smells delightful. Have you, do you have this one? I have it. Mm -hmm. I have oh, <laughs> yeah. It's like, it really, as soon as I smell, it's like kind of, um, it's like light. It feels yeah. like light entering your body, entering your world. And so this is a great one to diffuse and to just when you're doing affirmations, if you're doing any kind of work like that, um, this is the oil that will really help you be confident. And side note, also for children and babies, if they have somebody that's clingy, that can't uh -huh. be like, you know, has a lot of anxiety, this is the best oil for them. So in a way, I look at it like it's also working on our little inner child, you know, maybe you yeah. didn't have the best childhood experiences. Yeah. And that's okay, like welcome to planet Earth, right? Awesome. But um, this is a beautiful oil that can go in and kind of reparent and help your inner child feel safe. So I love bergamot. So that's one of the one of the first ones. But also, um, there is the cheer oil and passion. Okay. And these are like two of my favorites for when you're ready to live at the next level. Like that's kind of the phase I'm in now where I'm like, okay, you know, I'm not, I'm not thinking about them every day. I'm not having dreams about them. I'm not like waking up and kind of feeling that like sense of loss. And now I'm kind of like, not ready to date again quite yet, <laughs> but I'm like, you know, let me just, I want to feel happy. I deserve to be happy. I'm going to choose happiness. And that is cheer. This is like sunshine in a bottle. Um, this is very uplifting. It's all of your citrus oils. And then also like clove and star anise and vanilla bean, ginger. Ginger is a very powerful oil. Cinnamon, which is all about feminine sexual harmony and, and power and like not for, not for the world or for guys, but like for yourself, you know, feeling that, that fullness of who you are as a woman. And so cheer is really great for just uplifting your mood. Okay. And taking yourself from like, okay, I'm surviving. I can get through. I'm coping. I've been through worse. Like in the beginning, that's what I was having to tell myself. I'll get through this again. Um, and now it's like, yeah. And now I'm kind of to the point of like, what do I want to do today? You know, like how I want, I'm so excited to talk to my friend Jennifer and to, you know, talk about these oils that I love and help women on their journey through something that can be really challenging and you can feel really alone. So, um, but, but cheers that oil where it's going to help bring your creativity back, you know, where I thought my whole year was going to be different because I was going to be moving to another state for this guy and all this stuff. And now I'm not, but I'm like, well, I just booked a trip to Rome. That was the first thing that felt fun. My friend was like, hey, there's this Joe Dispenza cruise, which is like kind of a self-development cruise. Uh -huh. Leaving out of Rome, would you like to go? And I thought, yes, I would. <laughs> and it was like wow. the part of the cheer oil where things feel fun again. Mm -hmm. You know, where you're like, okay, reconnecting with friends, kind of coming out of my cocoon, right, of the healing. And all right, 
cheer. This is the oil. So, and I also like, I have, it's, it's so hard to choose Jennifer, you know, because it's like, <laughs> it's funny when I do um, workshops, people are like, you say almost every oil is your favorite or one of your favorites. And I'm like, but it's true. It's kind of like your children. You love them all. So, you love them all in their own special way. In their own special way. So um, the next oil that I really love is beautiful. The beautiful oh, blend. and. One. Oh yeah, so this is a special edition one. So, um, but they they are they are carrying it. I think that they ran out, but they actually made it into a body oil mist, which is incredible that they'll have all the time. And it's so good. It's, essential oils are so soothing for t skin tissue and keeping skin tissue healthy and hydrated. So it's in this body oil that's just delightful to put on after a bath or a shower. And one of the things that I want to say when you're going through a breakup, self care is so important, like lean into that. Take your candlelit baths, buy yourself some flowers. I bought myself roses for Valentine's Day. It was recently yeah. Valentine's Day. I'm like, I deserve roses. I lit candles, I took a bath, I bought myself a delicious chocolate bar. You know, I created that experience for myself because what am I gonna do? Watch on Facebook all my friends who are like getting, you know, flower deliveries and engaged in all this stuff all day. No, I stayed off social media. And I was like, I'm going to have a day for me and I'm just going to restore, right? And I'm going to connect to that. So self-care is huge. And the beautiful blend, literally, it's got lime, sandalwood, and frankincense. So those oils are very spiritual, first of all, yeah. and inspiring and lifting, and they help you feel beautiful. And so um, to, to put that on, like after my showers and my bath in the body oil is wonderful. And I use this as my perfume. It smells really good. Oh, and they actually can have the beautiful deodorant too, Jennifer. We got to get you this. Oh, it's like... Yeah. I, for like the most unique and my favorite smell as far as a perfume so I love this so beautiful blend very important because just feeling that that confidence because it emanates right and then we're going to start attracting mm -hmm. that same back right if we hold our confidence and we hold our energy and our beauty and our power and we know that then we're going to call that back from the world right exactly. so um and then passion do you like this yeah, one I love that one so good I love the cinnamon smell so good yeah yeah, cinnamon and vanilla. And this is like really good hormonal balance too. And how do you use it, Jennifer? Do you? Um, I, I diffuse it. I work with my clients and, you know, massage their hands sometimes or put on their temples just to kind of oh. um, alleviate any um, negative thinking, like helping them to come back into their um, self-love journey, their self-love experience, and just the excitement of what they can look forward to um, with yeah. things that they're passionate about, like reminding themselves of their passions. Yeah. And I think that that's so important because it can be easy to get lost in a relationship. You know, it can be, especially if you're a woman who's used to like loving and nurturing and you know, you're, you're, you're highly sensitive and it can be easy to get so focused on taking care of your partner or making them happy that you sort of lose yourself. And I actually was listening to an interview recently with Jennifer Lopez. And one of the things that she said, cause she's also struggled some with relationships, right? And she's really happy in her relationship now. But what she realized was that she was never alone growing up poor. She, her sister slept, they shared a bed. So she had never been alone. Alone. she didn't know how to be alone and she was in therapy and her therapist said well what do you what do you like to do for fun what are you passionate about and she said I don't know mm -hmm. and what she realized was that her passion was always whatever the guy she was with loved so if he was an athlete she was always into athletics and watching the games and this and that or you know if he was in the movie you know then their whole life was about that mm -hmm. he was an actor and so she realized that it was never about what she actually liked she didn't even know so he encouraged her not to date for a year take that time get to know herself like have a relationship with herself and mm -hmm. discover what her passions were so i love that because this blend is all about um rediscovering what are your passions what makes you feel happy and alive and satisfied? And then as a side note, it's got all those beautiful hormonal balancing oils, adaptogens that just bring. So if you are out of whack in any way, it's going to help support the body so that you're just feeling, you know, more centered and like yourself. So, um, so that's the, the passion blend. So I love that. And I have just a couple more kind of like different oils for you. Is that okay? If we just talk about yeah, for, yeah. for something specific. Yeah. Okay. So I wanted to just mention geranium because geranium is the oil of love and trust. Okay, so when you're ready to like open up your heart again and you're like, all right, you know what? I'm, I'm ready to maybe go on a date or accept this setup from friends. Um, this is the oil where you can really trust yourself. 
It's like, it's for the heart chakra. So I like to use this one most specifically on the heart chakra. You can also put it on your feet, but um, this is a great one to meditate on because this is the one that really helps you know that no matter what you've experienced in life or who's let you down, um, that at the end of the day, you can trust yourself and that you're really strong and that you can let love in. Uh, you know, I don't care. I've heard some horrific stories from people and they still have come to a place where they've done the work and they've been able to let love in, you know, and have and create a great relationship. And so um, this is the oil that can be a very powerful partner for that. And then since it's a floral oil, it's very feminine, it's very soothing. So this is definitely one to have at some point in your healing journey. And then um, another along those lines is rose. So we talked a little bit about, you know, roses in um, some of the blends and rose, pure purely is the oil of divine love and grace so it just helps you connect to like that love that's never going to let you down you know like the first time that i rolled it on my heart i just started tearing up like just kind of a feeling of gratitude and just like a connectedness in a, in a way and so this is and it's the highest vibration of all essential oils so wow. it really is yeah raises you up kind of helps you experience a new level of love that's not like the human you know love that we're you know people are people that sometimes they'll let you down and so um this is kind of that energy of the love that will never let you down and always be there for you so i love rose and geranium can be used together so I've used those a lot. Um, wow. These were my Valentine's Day oils for myself. <laughs> so those are really nice. And then I just wanted to talk to you about um, kind of like energetic boundaries. I think that that's really important, especially as you're going through the different, right? I'm sure you talk about that mm -hmm. a lot in your course, right? Um, clearing out the old energy and also keeping yourself because maybe your ex is like stuck you and obsessive right or so you know maybe there's different things going on that you're having to deal with so um i wanted to talk about a couple things so one is melaleuca and this is our tea tree oil some of you might be familiar with it from tea tree oil and on a physical level this is really great for like clearing out sinus infections and the immune system and like you know um any kind of um fungal candida overgrowth things like that but energetically it gets rid of like energy vampires or parasites, uh, people who are draining your energy, uh, people who, what'd you say? I said, we need to make that as a spray. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was going to say, well, I wanted to show you. So what's funny is that the next one is On Guard, oh, okay, which is perfect. a spray. And this is everyone's, a lot of people are familiar with this because it's good for cold and flu season. This is literally like your hand sanitizing. You can sanitize surfaces. But what's funny is that emotionally On Guard is like, your bouncer, like your security at the club. Like, listen, you don't get in, sorry. It's like the gatekeeper. Yeah. So it's got this really beefy, protective, like, no, I don't think so. So this is the oil of boundaries. And then this is, you know, energetically getting rid of toxins and vampire energy. So what I do is I open this up and it can be a great thing. Cause like we said earlier about the aura, just spray it on your hands. Even if you don't need to disinfect things, it smells great. Move yeah. it around your body, your aura, around your car, around your space. If you're somewhere that doesn't feel good, because we all have that intuition. Yeah. Have you ever walked in somewhere and you're like, ooh, that energy is so bad, right? right? So what I do is I just open this right up and I pour some Melaleuca in it so that I have the energetic, you know, cleansing boundary. And then I have my bodyguard that's like, no, nope, sorry, you're not attaching into her field today. You know, like you're not welcome here. <laughs> you didn't make the cut. So I, and this is just a great thing. It's got cinnamon, clove, wild orange. It smells wonderful, right? Do you have this one? I have, I don't have to spray, but I have the on guard. Okay. Yeah. So, um, and also it's alcohol free, which is nice because you don't, you know, want that stripping your, the natural protection on your hands. So anyway, I love this and it's something easy to have in your purse. And the thing is too, I would say like use these oils intentionally. One of the things that really helps me like you know, I'll use oils on people and they'll feel better even if they don't know what they're doing. But when you have a little bit of information, like after watching this video, the oils will really do even more because you're using them intentionally, you know, everything with intention, it's like it's animated. It's like you're making toast and the toaster's plugged in. <laughs> so you're going to get actual exactly. toast. You know what I mean? exactly. And so, um, so I would say, you know, really use these intentionally. And there's a great book I want to re refer to, but I only want to talk about one more oil. Sorry, <laughs> I got one more that you have to know about, and it's yeah, Douglas fur. And Jennifer, do you have Douglas fur? 
No, I don't. Uh -uh. Oh, we're freezing a little bit. Okay. Okay. So anyway, the, the Douglas fir, so it's a tree oil, obviously a fir tree, but it is the oil that breaks generational habits Ooh. and patterns in family. So it helps break family karma and clean your bloodline. And I think that that can be really important, especially when we're talking about relationships, because sometimes the way we learn to love is modeled in our parents, and we don't know what's happened like up the line of our generation, you know, our ancestry. And so this oil is really great because it just helps you um, clean up like your, your bloodline, like what's not mine, what beliefs don't serve me, what habits don't serve me, what experiences don't serve me. So energetically, it supports you in taking the wisdom and the healthy parts of your ancestry and using those as gifts and then purging anything that doesn't work. Like for me, my parents went through a 15 year divorce, as you know, 15 yeah. years, okay? Yeah. Which is insanity, right? That only ended when my mom passed away. So, and now my dad is like suing, you know, still suing us. So it's, been crazy. And so for me, I'm like, you know, I don't want any of that energy when it comes to my own relationships. You know, I kind of want to clear that out. So Douglas fir is a really nice, especially if you have some of that complicated family history, it's one of the best ones to sort of work through that. Yeah. Oh, that's um, I'm so glad you brought that up. And I definitely need to get that one for sure, because that's, I do ancestral and familial um, generational traumas and belief systems. So for sure, I need to order that next. Uh, um, yeah. I just want to grab a book to just refer to really fast. Hold on. Sorry. Um, I meant to have this, but this is, I love this book and you can get it on Amazon. This is the emotions and essential oils book. And it's really simple to use because literally you just flip it open and it's going to tell you the purpose of each oil and tell you what negative emotions it addresses, what positive energy or emotions it brings in. Then you can look up even in the back just by feeling and it'll tell you what oils to use. So if you're having a certain feeling, you can look it up. So I love this as a reference book and there's also an app, but um, oh, cool. yeah, I think that we, we definitely gave you like the cream of the crop. Jennifer and I oh, talked about this gosh. and we were like, all right, let's yeah, The right place. This is so awesome. I mean, this is such a resource of information. And I, now that we're done, I mean, I feel like this can apply to anyone, um, even if you're not going through a heartbreak or a breakup or needing to detoxify, you've given us so much information and how to really apply it in everyday life and which oils are for what emotion, which ways um, you can use to um, empower yourself or forgive, releasing all of those things. I mean, I'm telling you, you are a walking encyclopedia and you have so much knowledge and wisdom that I'm so blessed that you said yes to this um, interview today. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, give links to all the oils that Megan talked about and the book. And so if you're interested, and I definitely highly recommend that you do uh, purchase the oils and start working with them. If you need any help with the oils, I can definitely help you. I'm also going to provide information about um, Megan and how to stay connected to her whether it's through social media or contact her personally. Um, we are both available for you and I wish you all the best. And Megan, thank you so much again. Thank you so much for joining us and bringing okay. us all this goodness. And if there's anything else that you wanna say um, before we stop, before we end. Oh. I would just again, like, you know, be so um, connected to the fact that you are on your way. You know, you are really on your way through whatever journey you're going through. It gets better and you can create anything you want in your life. Yeah. So, and, and I'm so glad now you know about some oils to support you in that journey. And thank you for having me, Jennifer. This is really fun. We'll have to do something, some more stuff in the future. Absolutely. Thank you, Megan. And see you all ladies later. Bye.